this special JCN Roundtable discussion on the United States presidential elections is brought to you by the following sponsors. Sunshine Group of Companies, Fidelity Bahamas Limited, Simplified Lending Limited, and Lucayan Car Rentals. Greetings. Welcome to this special roundtable discussion on the Jones Communications Network. I'm Jeffrey Lloyd, and we are happy that you can join us. Within a few days, on Tuesday, November 5th, 2024, more than 161 million United States citizens will be allowed to cast their ballots for one of two candidates in the United States presidential election, former President Donald Trump or Vice President Kamala Harris. However, due to the option of early voting or mail-in ballots in 47 of the 50 United States, estimates suggest that as many as 40 million voters, or approximately one-fourth of all those eligible, have already cast their ballots. Each candidate has repeated that this is probably the most important election in the United States history. Naturally, Bahamians are watching with a very keen eye as well, principally because this has been often the case, when America sneezes, we say, the Bahamas catches the cold. You see, the United States is our closest neighbor, a mere 90 miles off the shores of our closest contacts. Our economy is closely linked to the U.S. economy, with over 85% of its international trade involving American business. Tourism, which is primarily driven by American visitors, some 85% of all tourists in 2023, contributes around 70% of the Bahamas' gross domestic product. Financial services also play a significant role. This heavy reliance on the U.S. means that shifts in the American economy can have significant impact, especially tourism and the imports of essential goods. The question is, does it really matter to the Bahamas which candidate wins this election and thus which party controls at least the White House? To share this discussion this evening are Mrs. Renfia Komalafi, Managing Partner, Komalafi Advisors, Mr. Jerry Butler, former Executive Director of the Inter-American Development Bank in the United States, Mr. Lester Turnquist, who is a business consultant, and Mr. Quentin Leroda, who is a labor consultant. Thank you and good evening. Mm -hmm. 